Hey, Kevin here. Uh, I don't know about you, but as a biologist who had performed microbiology experiment before, uh, I am confused by some of the hygiene instructions introduced during COVID-19. Here's why. For example, use your elbow to press a elevator button uh, instead of using your hand or finger. In my personal opinion, that's not an effective way to prevent the disease from spreading via elevator. Why? Because there are hundreds or even thousands of people living in one apartment building and you don't know if there's someone in your apartment building already got sick. I mean from COVID-19. Or they got sick, recovered, but still are carrying the virus because only 14 days of self-quarantines are required when one got sick from COVID-19. And many studies say that that's not enough to make sure that one's body is clear from the virus. And some people are super spreaders who themselves aren't displaying any symptoms, but are carrying the virus and spreading the virus around. If these super spreaders are living in your apartment and they don't know they are the super spreaders and you don't either, that's very dangerous. They might have used the elevator right before you use and before sanitizing the little space by the um, staff working there if your building is sanitizing common area. If not, that's even worse. They press with their hand or fingers or with their elbows as they instructed, which might be carrying the virus. The same button that you press uh, with your naked elbow or with clothes on and you still have a huge chance to get the disease and spread it to your family members because you and your family uh, possibly would touch the elbow that you used to wipe the virus off the elevator button with their hands or fingers and later they probably would um, touch anything in your apartment from um, door, door handle, uh, food, they may eat food with that hand then possibly get the disease and spread the disease within your family members. I know it sounds like a little bit obsession, but it's uh, actually safer to take a little bit extra caution when the virus can possibly really spread in any, any possible way they can. So what should be used to press that elevator button during COVID on top of wearing the mask in that little space? Here's a simple trick that my father taught me, who is not a scientist, but really impressed me, who is a scientist. Instead of using your body part like a uh, finger, elbow, your hand, or foot, you can actually use a pen with cap. You can put a little bit of cotton, clothes, or tissue into the cap, and drop a little bit of hand sanitizer on top of that. Each time when you use it, you pull it out, and press the elevator button with the tea sanitized tip. Each time when you are about to press the elevator button, you can pull it out and then use the sanitized tip to push the elevator button and put it back without touching. It back to the cap which will sanitize the tip which might be carrying the virus from the elevator button. You can carry this little tool in your pocket. Every day when you're home, you can drop some more sanitizer on top of that because some of it already dried out. That's my trick. Hopefully you're going to use it. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button and subscribe. See you next time.